All my life I've heard stories about my great-great-grandfather, who was a fisherman on a little Greek island. How he loved the sea and worked hard his whole life on those magical waters of the Aegean. Your grandfather's era, they were real die-hard fishermen. Now it's time for me to discover why so many Greeks share that same passion. A passion that's made Greece the world's leading maritime nation. We're off on a journey up and down the Aegean to discover Greece's hidden treasures and to find out why the sea is the lifeblood of this place. I love sea. I want to die in the sea. But I'm not going to Greece for a history lesson. This is about the future. It's a future, though, the people of Greece need to fight for, as hard as the country's navy does to defend its borders. Human life is alpha and omega for us. As innovatively as the Greek fishermen do. Uh, today, no fish. <laughs> Tonight, beans. <laughs> or so light. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, fish. Maybe. <laughs> and as skillfully as the captains of these super ferries do to transport tens of thousands of people around the islands every day. I have to take your pulse. Make sure oh, you're okay. Well, yes. It's a little bit higher from normal. <laughs> <laughs> because the future of this place could be as rich as the merchants who ruled these seas for centuries. Today's Greek seafarers are the descendants of men and women that engineered a civilization so great that they empowered the world's first democracy, leading a band of ordinary citizens on a voyage of discovery that altered the course of history. Think of me as a modern day Poseidon, showing you my homeland and introducing you to the sea masters of Greece. I always thought of myself as a bit of a Greek god. We'll have plenty of fun as we wind our way from island to island. Pleased to meet you. Welcome aboard the Uzo Palace. Uzo Palace! And you'll see there's so much history to explore here. This mother of the naval battles secured democracy and freedom. So many challenges that have already been solved. Go to the sea and conquer the world. And why that same kind of thinking could just be what will get Greece out of its current economic mess. first shipping power in the world. What would you say to people who said that you were a hero? Oh, you know, it's a hero. You just try. You know, you just try to help someone. So I'm asking you to join me on this maritime marathon. And I promise it won't be the Greece you normally see on TV. In a few years, you will come back and they will be captain. There's far more to this place than meets the eye. You'll discover Greece has still got it. Whoop -a! <laughs>